Okay, so I just got done watching Notes, Notes from Melody, uh, from Melanie, which is a short film from Chris Duckman, written, produced, and directed by Chris Duckman. Uh, for these reasons right here, obviously I was going to review a film by Chris Duckman for your boy. Of course, of course I was going to review this, uh, and I'll review the, the, uh, any film that you that you put out uh, when it's within my grasp. Anyways, but back to notes from Melody. Myself, someone who's aspiring to be a filmmaker, uh, this is my first film. Uh, and for my first film, I even made the album myself. And uh, these are both on YouTube, links down below. So, uh, right off the bat, right off the bat, um, the, comedy, <clears throat> uh, the comedy did not work for me. You could probably take that with a grain of salt because it's hard to get a laugh out of me from comedies in general. It takes a really good comedy to get me, so maybe take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. But the comedy just did not work for me. And considering that most of the short film is oozing with comedy. Um, I, I know that you said that you, you were going for something like off the wall, something sort of bizarre, right? Um, and this is mostly just because I, I, I just don't think that you're, you're just not there yet as a filmmaker. You still need a little bit more time to understand, like, like oh, you know what? I, I, no, this scene is definitely, even people who are not fans of me, like, this scene is definitely going to crack people's ball up. I, I don't know. It's just like the, the humor is just very off kilter, uh, really over the top and really just uh however every time that it was serious i i definitely leaned in so i i think you should i i think you need to focus on on the pro i think i think you're hopefully with your you know the feature that you're trying to film in 20 uh spring of 2020 uh, maybe this will have this but i i think you 100 percent need to concentrate on a film that has no humor or has a very very little humor because i'm telling you when you do that I, I you will have something for sure i i will admit <clears throat> i will admit there there was there was only one thing that genuinely made me laugh and that was the thing that made me laugh was um behind melanie was this werewolf uh poster <laughs> John. And that poster, bizarrely, uh, <laughs> for whatever reason, it just cracked me the fuck up. I would totally watch that movie. I mean, I'd probably give it like 5, 4 out of 10, leaning on a 5 out of 10. Uh, the things that really worked are, like from a technical standpoint, so like the lighting, the resolution. Uh, I think... All that was really good. Um, the the actors, you know, performing all these lines of dialogue often in one take. I thought that was quite impressive as well. Um, and also, I, I think I think you've got something with her. I, I don't know if you ever got to work with her again, but you you probably should because she she was good. With this guy, like this guy has like a very bizarre likeness to you. Um, are you aware of that? Was that intentional? Uh, like, what, cause that really fucked with me. <laughs> uh, uh, the dramatic moments, uh, did to some extent. And, uh, I, I really like this moment, um, here. I started thinking, what's my legacy? You know, what will I be remembered for? Will I be remembered? Uh, because I, I, I felt like... These were the thoughts of, like, literal Chris Duckman, not necessarily only the thoughts of this character. And that made me pause. And I was like, like, man, even though I don't fuck with this short film, I'm just keeping it 100 with you, um, I can tell there's a potential there, you know? Particularly when this bit of dialogue was spoken. I, I, I can tell, and especially when you consider, <clears throat> you know, his previous 
shorts that he used to make with his, his buddies, you know. Um, there's potential there because there's, even though those were silly too, there's a commitment. You know, I don't care about this film because comedy just did not work for me at all. Um, you know, I didn't care about this film, uh, Notes from Melanie. You can still feel that this man, Chris Stuckman, is dead fucking serious about wanting to one day be producing films that people like to love, you know? Um, and that's the thing that struck me about this short film more than anything, you know? Uh, you can just tell that, like, Chris Stuckman is just ever so desperately trying to, to make a, a great film or a series of films. Um, and I can't wait to follow you on this journey. I did not like this... Because there was one time where you had this... Um, you were talking about this this feature film that you had made a long time ago, and you were describing the scene where your character, uh, your blind character, comes home and uh, they're, they're walking around, but unbeknownst to the, to the blind character, everything in the house has been trashed, you know? And he's kind of like just walking around in the house like everything's normal. And, but, um, so like there was this interesting bit where like for the character, he's, he's just a blind man who's just coming home, walking to the house. But for the audience, uh, I believe your intention was for us to be like, holy shit. Holy shit, he, like, he doesn't notice, but we notice that, like, something's wrong. Someone's broken inside of his house. Holy fuck, what, how long is it going to take for him to notice? Like, what the fuck? Like, I thought that was actually brilliant. Because you referred to that part of your film in kind of a flippant way. And I was like, hold on, dear sir. That was a hell of a, that was a, that was a really unique idea, I must say. I, uh, mm, interesting. I think Chris has something. I think he has something, but I think I think you should move the comedy aside and uh, just move it aside for a moment. Because once once you do that, brother, mm, I think you got something, Christopher. Okay, I I I can see a little spark in you. All right, I can see a little spark in you, Chris. All right, keep it going, baby. Keep it going.